Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is part two of uh, the uh, designing your own trailer uh, series. So in the first part, in the first video, I showed you, uh, I explained to you what is the torque and how can we uh, uh, use the, uh, the physics of calculating torque in order to find the position of an axle of a trailer um, when you're building a trailer. Now let's assume that you already have a trailer, it's already built for you, and you want to load the trailer with your car, buggy, side-by-side, -side, or, or anything, anything else really, and you want to know where to position the load on the trailer in order to get the 15% weight on the trailer hitch. So this is the calculation that you're going to need in order to make that calculation. Okay, so let's uh, make an example here to try to see where to position a vehicle, a car, or a buggy on a trailer in order to get the 15% weight on the front hitch. So this, this is a side view of the trailer. So this is the front of the trailer. And this is the back of the trailer. This is the hitch position. And then this is the, the axle position. Or if it's a tandem, then it's, it's just the center between the tandem position. So I'm going to make the calculations now in inches, just to show you that it can be done in both in inches or in feet. So I'm going to assume I have a trailer that is 120 inches long from the front all the way to the back. 120 inches. And then I'm going to assume that it's uh, the axle is located at, uh, say, 60%. Uh, so that means uh, I'm going to assume that this distance from here to here is about 72 inches. And which equates to approximately 60% of the length of the entire trailer. And then I'm going to know that my trailer weighs um, at the center of mass. I'm going to position it at exactly 60 inches. So right in the middle. But you can position it whatever you want depending on your previous calculations. So this is the center of mass. And then this trailer empty weighs 1,000 pounds. So the other vectors that I have, I have a normal here, and then I have another normal here. So if I want to get 15% uh, of the weight of the trailer, and then I'm going to position a, um, a vehicle. So the vehicle, I'm going to position it right here. So this is the one tire. This is the second tire. So this vehicle weighs uh, a thousand pounds too. Let's make it uh, exactly that. So a thousand pound vehicle, and the vehicle has uh, eighty inches wheelbase. I'm just making assumptions here. So eighty inches wheelbase, and the weight is divided equally between the front and the rear axles. So I'm going to have five hundred pounds here, and then five hundred pounds here. And uh, so what do I have left? So that means if I, if I want to have 15% uh, of the weight uh, exactly on, uh, on, the, on the hitch, so that means the entire weight is 1,000 pounds plus 1,000 pounds. That's 2,000 pounds. So 15% of that is 300. And that means I'm going to have 1,700 on the axles. There you go. So now the question for me is where do I position the front tire of the trailer? So what is the distance X that I have to position the front of the trailer, uh, the front tire of the trailer, in order to, um, to get 15% of the weight? So the, X, the distance X is from the uh, center of the rear axles to the front tire. So I have um, I've made all my drawing. So I go back to the to the same problem that I had. Summation of all torques is equal to zero. So where do I choose where to calculate the torque? So I can choose it either in the front, uh, the center, the center of mass, anywhere. But the easier, easiest way for me is just to calculate it around the uh, the center uh, between the two tandem axles. So in, in this position here. So let's look at this. So we have how many vectors do I have? I have one. Uh, two, uh, three, four, and then five. So sorry, the four is actually right here. Uh, 
Okay, so let's start with number one. So number one, remember um, this: uh, the the first vector wants it. Uh, he wants to make the trailer turn uh, clockwise, so it's positive uh, multiplied by the distance. So the distance uh, between um, here and uh, where I'm doing the uh, the rotation to calculate the torque. So uh, so the distance is going to be 72 inches. Uh, multiplied by 300 and then um, I'm going to go to the next one so 2 so 2 is going to make a rotation that is negative because it's going to want to rotate this way this way so negative uh, distance x multiplied by the weight 500 and then the next one is the center of mass again negative so the center of mass can be calculated uh, because remember, so the distance. Let's see. So if uh, if this distance from here to the front is seventy-two and sixty, so it's twelve inches. So it's twelve inches. I can make that calculation. So that means negative um, twelve inches and multiplied by the weight of the trailer, which is one thousand pounds. Then move to number four. Number four is equal plus zero multiplied by 1700 because the distance is zero. And then finally, the last one, five. He wants to turn in the positive clockwise. So 500, uh, the distance uh, from here to here is, is 80 inches minus x. So uh, 80 inches minus x multiplied by 500 okay so there you go so now I can I can write all these down so 72 by 300 is 21 600 minus 500 X minus 12,000 uh, plus 80 multiplied by 500 that's 40,000 minus 500x, so that means I'm going to have 21,600 minus 12,000 plus 40,000 is equal to 49,600 minus 1,000x must be equal to zero. So that means I'm going to have 49,600 is equal to 1,000x, x is equal to to 49.6 inches. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we need to position the front axle of the uh, of the vehicle 49.6 uh, inches away from the center of the axle. So this is X as we found it here. However, this is not really realistic in this problem. That's not going to work for us because the distance between the front hitch to the, to, the, to the center of the axle is only 72. So if I have 72 inches minus 49.6 inches, this equates to 22.4 inches. So the front axle of the vehicle must be 22.4 inches from the front hitch. And this, this is not possible. So obviously this scenario is not going to be, it's not going to work realistically to get 15% of the weight on the on the hitch we have we can't move the, the vehicle this far forward so how do we solve this problem so one of the ways to solve this problem is when designing this trailer we can move the rear axle back assume that we move it back 12 inches let's see how that affects our calculation so if we move it back 12 inches so if we move it back 12 inches we look back at our equations so here instead of 72 we're going to have 84 so 84 inches multiplied by 300. So everything's still the same here. X is still the same because now X has been extended to here. Um, here, instead of 12 inches for the uh, center of mass, it's no longer 12 because we moved it back. So it's 24 inches. And then this is the same here. This same is the same because we haven't changed the, uh, the, the wheelbase of the vehicle. So let's, uh, let's look at the, the numbers. So this number is going to be different. And this number is going to be different. So let's see, 84 multiplied by 300. This gives us 25,200. And then this is going to be 24,000. 
So if I do uh, 25,200 minus 24,000 plus 40,000 equals to 41,200. So 41,200, this equates to 41.2 inches. Hey, it's getting better. So 41.2 inches, that means we can position the tire here now and get 15% of the weight just by moving the axle back. We can keep, we can move it back even further, and that's gonna that's gonna give us a more reali realistic uh, answer. As you can see here, we can we can test fit uh, the vehicle onto the trailer by doing math calculations, and that's gonna save us from having to make errors while making while build, when building our trailer. Um, another another way that we can change this calculation is basically by reducing the uh, the wheelbase of the vehicle. But I mean, this I don't know if this is something that can be done or not, depending on the on the project. If you reduce the uh, the eighty here, uh, it, assume this is this is uh, seventy instead of eighty, so that means this is seventy here. So this is going to reduce the forty thousand. Uh, it's going to become seventy uh, multiplied by five hundred. That's going to be 35,000, 35,000. So now I have 25,200 minus 24,000 plus 35,000 is equals 30, 36,200, which is uh, 36.2 inches. So as you can see, just by reducing the, the vehicle wheelbase, we can, we can also adjust that, uh, or we can move the axle back further as well. Okay, so let's look at the final scenario here. Let's uh, bring back the trailer axle back to the 72 inches from the front of the trailer. So we're back to 72 inches, 72 inches here. So original position. And now um, the question that we're asking ourselves is how much weight are we going to have on the front uh, uh, hitch, on the hitch of the truck if we we can only bring the front tire of the vehicle to 35 inches in front of the trailer axle. Okay, so what would happen? How, how, what's the percentage of weight that we're going to have in this case? We can do it theoretically as well. And this is how it's done. Back to the original vector. So let's start with uh, vector number one. Vector number one wants to make the trailer platform turn clockwise, so it is positive. Distance is 72 inches from the rotation center, which is the trailer axle right here. Uh, so multiplied by a certain value, this is what we're trying to find. So let's call it A. And then uh, to the second vector, the second vector wants to make the trailer platform turn counterclockwise, so negative. And then the, uh, the, the value is still the same, it's 500 and now it's 35 inches. So 35 multiplied by 500 pounds and the trailer uh, weight, uh, is is still the same. So the trailer weight is exactly still the same. So 30, uh, so negative. Uh, now we're going to leave it at 12 inches multiplied by 1,000 pounds for the weight of the trailer empty. And then um, at the rotation at the center is, is zero because the distance is zero multiplied by a certain weight. We don't know that weight, but we don't care about it because it's going to be zero anyway, multiplication by zero. And then finally, the last vector, it wants to turn the trailer uh, clockwise, so plus, and then the distance here is uh, um, 80 minus 35, 45, and then uh, multiplied, so 45 inches multiplied by 500. Okay. Calculate that. So 72a minus 35 multiplied by 500. That's 17,500 minus 12,000 plus, plus zero here. And then plus 45 multiplied by 500. It's 22,500. So that's that must be equal to zero, obviously. 72a, and then I calculate that. So 22,500 minus 12,000 minus 17,500 is equal to 7,000. So negative 7,000 is equal to zero. So that means 72a is equal to 7,000. 
that means a is equal to 7,000 divided by 72. That's 97.2 pounds. So 97.2 pounds only on the front hitch. And that equates to how much in percentage? So 97.2 divided by the total weight, which is 2,000. So if I divide that by 2,000, that means I barely have 4.9% of the weight on the front hitch. So obviously there's a problem here. You can't tow with 49, with the 4.9 percentage on the hitch. So this setup is not gonna work. It needs some modifications as you can see here in order to get it to work. 